This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. Today, I'm very lucky to joined by Ryan Rhodes. So thank you very much for coming on, Ryan. How are you? You okay, Fred? You're all good. Today, I college here. It was quite early, 9. I'd wake up, normally, I have to wake up at 10.30, but I'd wake up at 9.30 today. But it's only two hours in college, so it's not that bad. Oh, um, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, so it's only like pretty much half day, so it's all right. So what's been going with you, though? Uh, back in the gym. The gym's back open. We opened, I think this is... I think this is the end of the third week uh, we've been open. Um, glad, just glad to get into a bit of a routine now. Just waking up early in the morning. I'm down at the gym, opening the gym at seven o'clock, uh, training the pros before they, they go off to work. And then chilling out through the day, doing a few personal training sessions and then um, getting the pros back in the evening. Tonight, I'm over at Steffi Bull's gym tonight with um, Samuel Mason. He's sparring Lee Appleyard for Lee's fight next week with Dalton Smith. Great fight. So glad glad that I'm getting back into a routine because it's, it's um, I don't enjoy it when I'm not in a routine. Yeah, it must be nice kind of that normality again. And so last, I want to get a couple of thoughts on your P-Boxing Club game and then the Canelo Saunders fight. We'll start with the game. Uh, 10 p.m. last night, they had another announcement where they re released another load of fighters. The internet kind of went crazy again. Um, only a few fighters, only a few legends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only a few. Um, before we just go into those names, I don't know if it's stop on a negative, but a lot of people were surprised that Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua weren't in it. Is there any reason for that? Well, I mean, it's it's common knowledge that both them guys are involved in EA sport, uh, in the UFC. Oh. Um, so obviously that's the reason why them two aren't announced in, in the game. Um, but listen, you know, the names what got announced last night. I mean, the guys are still sitting, try and keep a little bit behind. So it's, it's, it's still, still a surprise. For, for us, even myself, who I knew quite a few was was already involved. What were going to be announced? I saw a few names back. I wasn't I wasn't aware of, and I understand that people um, are crying out for these big names, you know, such as like your Anthony Joshua, your, your Tyson Fury, um, your Mike Tyson. I was I was looking down the comments of the sides. And, and, you know, obviously they we're all talking about the current legends and um, being in the game. It's so difficult because it's not like you've got to speak to the individual fighters or the individual fighters' agents or solicitors, you know, to get, to get the fighters involved, to agree to be involved in the game. And I think, I think what Steel City, what Steel City guys have done um to, to today they've done an amazing job you know it's um you know everybody's saying that the roster is better than any other computer game what what what's been out before um and, and and when you really look into it by far it's the best by far and 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 not even just that I'm reading comments that people are saying it's not even just the best boxing game it could possibly be even the best sporting game. And do you know what? Again, when you really look into it, it possibly could, it possibly could. It really, really could. That's that's how good this game potentially could get. The best sporting game ever. It certainly well, could be where it's going right now. And you mentioned there how you have to ask the fighters' lawyers. Um you got Muhammad Ali in the game, which I think most people are very surprised. And it's quite an achievement getting him in the game. It's great. How do you go about getting Muhammad Ali in the game? So obviously, you know, I wasn't a part of, of being in, getting that deal. I think uh, Todd Grisham, who's who's in the USA, who's signing massive names up left, right, and centre. He's he's the main guy. So he'll have spoke to to the company what owns the rights for Muhammad Ali. He'll have negotiated the deal, and then, and then obviously, they everybody, both parties will have agreed, and that's how it, how it works. With you know, obviously, we've got the legends as well. You, Joe, um, 
Joe Frazier, you've got uh, Rocky Marciano, you know, all them kind of fighters, the legends. So it's, 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 it's speaking to the right people, the, the, the right people who, who own the rights to, to, to these big names. And it's, you know, when, when, they, when they see the quality of this game and when they see, you know, obviously we send them over the, um, the videos of the, of the boxing game, what it's going to look like inside the game. They jump at the chance, you know, it, it doesn't take, take much negotiation. They jump at the chance to be involved in the game because they're seeing the potential and they're seeing what, what, most, what most people are saying, that possibly the best sporting game ever. And you always get, when you sign a fight of the game, you always get them come down to have a studio where they do like, you kind of match their style to the game. How are you gonna how are you gonna recreate Muhammad Ali style? I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so there's a lot of professional fighters what what what's doing a lot of the helping out with the mole cap and, and putting the suits on. You know, there's a lot of fighters what can emulate emulate. I mean, it's it's not gonna be easy to to copy a Muhammad Ali style, but there's a lot of fighters what can what can you know do box different. They can fight. They can box. They can counter. They can they can move. So there'll be there's plenty of fighters out there what can you know what will put the name forward and 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 and, and definitely uh, put the more cap suit on and and try and emulate Muhammad Ali. It's not going to be easy. You know we 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 all probably know that there's only ever going to be ever one Muhammad Ali, but there's some fighters what what are good enough that can that can nail that and uh, and get the style of Muhammad Ali, no doubt. And one thing I've noticed, you mentioned UFC the the start there. One action they have is that you can choose two fighters you want to fight, and then you can watch them on the screen fight, and you're not actually playing the game. I don't know the name for it, but you can see them play the game. You can see the two fighters fighting each other. Do you think you'll be able to do this in this game? For example, you could have Muhammad Ali versus, well, who you got in the game? So you could have Muhammad Ali, Roy Jones, or something like that. Well, exactly. I mean, I believe so. Yeah, I, like I said, these guys want to create the best boxing game what's ever been released. That's that's what these guys. So they want to, you know, give. I think what what they're also, you know, heavily involved in is listening to what what people are asking for, listening to to the fans, they're so involved in, in, in making sure that what people ask for, they're trying to put into the game as much as possible. Not everything will be able to be put into the game, but I'm telling you, they've got guys reading the comments, listening to what the fans want in this boxing game, and they're trying to get it to exactly the best possible game out there. And, and that's by listening to the fans, what they want. Yeah, that's very good. I see they've got the Discord group, and that's kind of the way to do it now, I think. You just got to listen, because it's, end of the day, it's the fans buying them playing the game. So you kind of got to listen to it, and everyone kind of noticed that. That's why it's so popular. Um, yeah. I'm like, on the last interview, I had a look at the comments today, and there are a couple of comments asking me to ask you that, what are the chance of having Mike Tyson and Prince Nassim Hamid in the game? Listen, with... Honestly, we're trying to get as many fighters in. The roster just keeps growing and growing and growing. Uh, like I said, they kept a few from the announcement last night. They kept a few um, to one side. Um, so I was I was a little bit shocked with some of the roster, what they announced last night, because they kept that to one side. Without a doubt, such as like a Mike Tyson, such as like a Naz, they want to get them in the game. And no doubt conversations uh, are going on with them fighters um, today. Uh, we want the best fighters, the biggest names that, 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 that the fans want to play in this game. And who, who would not want to be a Mike Tyson in this game? Who would not want to be a Naz in this game? It just makes sense for, for that to happen. So the guys at Steel City are doing everything possible to get as many big names in this game as possible. I'm sure they are. Imagine you did get those in the game. That'd be mad. Um, Crazy. One thing that hasn't been kind of released yet, or well, I think they touched on it in one of their videos, but they're going to release a, a video on it. It's the career mode. And that looked really cool, having the promoters, the managers, the cut men. What can you tell us about the career mode in the game? 
So basically, you can you you know the 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 better you do in this game, the better uh, customer you can get, the better trainer you can get, the better promoter. You know, you in this game you start you can start your career at the at the lowest level, which is basically uh, as an amateur. You work your way through the amateur ranks, then you start as a professional. You work your way from um, from um, you know British nice. title. Yeah, you can work your way from British title to to European to to international titles, and then and then to world title. So the career is basically from from start to finish. You know, as you would do in 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 real life. Start as an amateur, work through the amateur record, and and then become a world champion later down the line. What I think is really good about that is going to educate a lot of people on boxing of how it really works. Because a lot of people don't really know the business side of boxing. And all the amateur side go for like the sub any the sub the sub uh the, like the area titles then to the nationals and then British titles yeah. and so forth. Um, as on I woke up this morning and I checked my phone and then I saw all this like Jake Paul Floyd Mayweather you must have seen it right to gain the cap you haven't seen it I've seen it oh, I said no I've seen it I've seen it I what just, are the chances I of, think it what are the chances oh, I'm sorry. Of, like, True George, like being a YouTuber is being in the game, like True Georgie or KSI or any of those. Listen, it's, it, 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 they're fighters. That, that's what they I know. They're not professional fighters, but they they are wanting to be fighters and they want to they want to fight professional fighters. Um, there's a possibility if we believe that it, it, it benefits the game, we're going to try and get them in the game. That's all we can do. Um, to be fair, I wasn't a fan of that yesterday. He, you know, he stole he stole Floyd's uh, Floyd's cap off his head. Then they were that big, a big hoo ha of. I think Floyd Mayweather must have had about ten of his security on top of him trying to get his cap back. It was crazy. It was it weren't it weren't good to see for the sport. It wasn't a great a great advert for for boxing, um, but. A lot of people tuned in to look at it. They wanted to see what happened. And honestly, it went viral. You, you'll have seen it yourself, Fred. It went absolutely viral. So I wasn't a fan of it, but it is what it is. I don't know whether it was half planned or a bit planned. You just, you just don't know at the minute. I mean, Logan's the one who's fighting him. He'll probably end up Jake fighting him at some point. I mean, everyone's seen that. They'll probably get a few pay-per-view pay buys. The only thing is, Ryan, yeah. everyone is saying that your rematch of Canelo Alvarez would happen, yeah? But Canelo is on the game, so what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. I'll have to... Because you can create fighters. You can change the, the features. You can change the hair. So I'm going to have to create a ginger-looking Mexican. That's what I'm going to have to create to, to get my rematch with Canelo. Um, but... That, that's a good thing. You you can create you can create uh, your own fighter in the game. Um, you know I, I've seen some crazy creations when when being up at Steel City Interactive. Um, but yeah, as close as we're gonna get, I'll have to create a ginger looking Mexican. You had to put like the level was really really low then. <laughs> yeah 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 definitely get my own back. <laughs> definitely um. I don't take too much of the time yet, but you mentioned Canelo there. You're in the ring of Canelo. He's fighting Billy Joe Saunders this Saturday. Yeah. Well, oh, dog's just gone off. Um, yeah, this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, the, every time the postman comes in the door, but my dog goes mental anyway. This Saturday is Billy <laughs> Saunders. What are your thoughts on this fight, considering you're in the ring yourself with Canelo? Yeah, so I believe I believe Billy Joe Saunders definitely can cause Canelo problems with his style, his movement his reflexes, his fast combinations. Um, I just, I, I don't think there's anybody out there at the minute to, 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 you know, to beat Canelo. I think Billy will do well, but I, I only can see one winner in this fight and that's a Canelo. Um, even if it, even, you know, I think Billy Joe Saunders will, will lose on a wide decision on this, on this fight. Uh, I can only see one winner. I just thought Billy does really, really well, which I believe he does. He looks in fantastic shape. He looks the best I've ever seen him condition-wise. Um, he looks like he's stirring a few things up like Billy Joe Saunders does, getting 
in trying to get under Canelo's skin. Whether that will happen is another story, but I believe there's only one winner in this fight and I can only see Canelo winning a wide points decision. I remember Canelo, I looked on, I'm not saying I'm a betting man here, yeah? I'm 16, but I looked on bet, I looked on bet for it. I mean, the odds, oh no, well, who wants bet for it? It's bet 365. Yeah. Pro, but yeah, yeah, Canelo's a massive favour in the fight. I think if you bet five pounds on Canelo, Huge. you get 550 return. And if you bet five on Billy Joe Saunders, you get like 27 return. So, yeah, I think, I think so, uh, someone had a bet on, a friend of mine had a bet on uh, Billy Joe Saunders to win on points. And I think he had, I think he had twenty pound on it, and he got some of like a hundred and fifty pound back if it if it came in. Yeah. That's crazy odds, crazy odds. Um, for someone, a Billy Joe Saunders, two weight world champion, uh, unbeaten, to have odds against you like that, the bookies aren't aren't normally far off wrong. To be fair, yeah, that's a very good point. He's two weight world champion, but he's going up against pound pound number one. Yeah, so, yeah. When you were in the ring, Canelo. What did you notice about him when you were training for him and then after the fight, like before and after? So, training for Canelo, we, the videos we've seen, we just thought it was going to be a, a, a typical come-forwarded Mexican fighter. The fight before me, he boxed uh, Matthew Hatton and basically just walked Matthew Hatton down. It didn't give Matthew a minute. He, he pressured, you know bullied him, chucked him from pillar to post. And, and I expected him trying to do that to me. But when I fought him, he he boxed, he, he held the centre of the ring, he didn't chase me. He was trying to counter-punch me. And, and, and that was the, that's the great style of Canelo. He can box, he can fight, he can move. He's got great reflexes, um, got great head movement. You know, you think you're going to hit him and he'll move quick out of the way and he'll just make you miss. He's got the full package, absolutely the full package. And, and and look at him, he's pound for pound number one today. That's why, you know, he's such a great fighter because he has got the full package. I mean, not many people have got a full package in boxing. I mean, everyone's trying to find a weakness for Canelo, but no one can find really any. As can it's really cool. Not many people can say they've been in the ring for Canelo either. Anyway, don't take yeah. too much of your time up, but will Fred Dogs Fighting be in the game run? <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. We'll do our best. <laughs> All right, we'll try. We'll try. All right, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Where can people, where can people find you on social media? At? So yeah, social media: uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, Ryan Rhodes twenty six on everything. All right, Ryan. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care, Fred.